Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to tell you what you can do if your Rogers email account's been hacked. First of all, if you still have access and you can sign in, just go into your Rogers mail, type in your email address and password and sign in. If you can't even do that, you're going to have to call Rogers and ask them to reset your password for you. Once you get your new password and sign in, then there's a few other things that you need to do. Once you're signed into your email, whether you still had your existing password or Rogers changed it for you, it's a good idea to change it again anyway. What you need to do is go into your username and then go to account info. From here up at the top, there's account information. From here, you'll see change password. And then just simply type in your existing password, a new one, confirm it and save. Once you have that done, you want to go back into your email. From within the mail, you want to go under settings, down to more settings. And this is where we want to check a few things and make sure that there's no other weird settings put in place by the hacker. At this point, we change the password so they're out of there, but they still may have some other things set up. In the personalizing box, there shouldn't be anything of importance here other than the personalization. If they did anything in here, it's not a security threat, it's just to mess with you. So just simply put things back to the way you want it here. Under mailboxes, you might see some other strange mailboxes in here, or even the send only email addresses, there could be stuff added in here. So if you see things that you don't uh, recognize or they weren't yours, then just remove them from here. Under notifications, that's just an option, so there's no concerns there. Writing email, you might see that the signature's been turned on with some other default settings in here. So you can change that information. Uh, if it's on, you'll see the information in here and you can delete that or change it back to what you had or just turn that off. The default sending address could have been changed if you had more than one account, so make sure that that's correct. Under viewing email, there should be no security concerns here, but again, they might have messed with things, so you can have a look and review. Vacation response might have been set up for some reason. Um, it's not really a security concern, but they would have been just screwing with you by having messages sent out automatically if this was turned on, saying that you're unavailable, which isn't true, most likely. So then just simply turn that off if that is the case. Under filters, you might see some filters that have been added that are not yours. If you do have some of your own, then that's fine, but it shows you here the total of how many are used. We didn't have any filters in this account, but here there's something strange and the name of it has just got slashes. So if we click into that, we can see it here. The filter name is just not even a name and it's trying to filter anything with a subject that contains the word help it's moving it into the archive folder. You might have other filters in here with different rules that are not yours. So simply on this side here, when you highlight them, you'll have a trash can. You can delete that and it confirms to delete that particular filter name. So we'll remove that and we're okay. Under security and privacy, this is the one thing I don't like about Rogers is of all the security features, this is just the only feature is blocking addresses. You can go in and block people, that's it. There's no two-factor authentication in Rogers, so that's why I would recommend using Gmail for your email or something else that includes a two-factor authentication. If you're not sure what two-factor authentication is, you might want to check out my videos on two-factor authentication. Under contacts, you might have some things screwed around uh, in here, added or removed, so it's a good idea to review that. So basically, if your Rogers account's been hacked, the first thing you want to do is change your password, change it drastically, and also check your settings in here, especially the filters. There might be the emails that are being automatically archived or deleted on you. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.